One of the great things that I like about Hexagon, right from the very day that I saw it, was the interface. It looks simple and it's laid out in a very nice clean fashion. It's not over cluttered with texts and tools, but there is a lot of depth there that you probably can't see in the background that enables you to model pretty much anything you desire. Primarily, a lot of the tools are there for you to instantly grab and access, and there are lots of additional features that are just tucked away within the actual drop down menus. Now, highlighted at the moment, what you can see is the really viewports, and by default, you've got four. The top left, you've got the perspective view, and in this view, you can actually rotate around your model 360 degrees all the way around and every single area that you desire. In addition to that, we've got the other viewports, which are 2D and they're fixed to a specific angle, like the front, the right, and the top. Just below the viewport, you can see these preset buttons here, and this is where you can select some of the pre presets of these layouts. So you can see we've got a free, we've got a quad, and we've even got a single view here. Now, to select between the views, we just simply left click in them, and you can see that it's highlighted by a white rectangular outline. This means that whatever view that we're currently in, we can instantly zoom into that to utilize the full screen space by clicking on this first single view button. We can go back to the quad view at any time we want and reselect a different. The next area that I'm going to be um, showing you is this area here, and this is all to do with the grid and how we can use it to do precise modeling. And we can lock the grid axis with this, and it's very, very handy. So this is a snap mode, you could say. We're going to be going into this a bit later on. Next to the right of here, we've got the area on which we can actually zoom on specific models on all the models in this scene and use it as a rotational axis point or pivot point for the camera. So I'm just going to show you how to use this right now, now we're here. Just bring this sphere into the scene and I'll show you how to do this later on. I'm going to just generate two. First of all, if you're currently looking at just this item here within your 3D viewport and you want to see all of your items that are you made, you just simply click on this button here, view all and it will zoom out so everything that you've made fits into the viewport area. On the other hand, if you wanted to zoom in on a specific item selected, you click on this one. If you wanted to get a detailed view, you can use this one here, and this one enables you to drag around the specific area or location that you want to zoom onto. Now sometimes you may find that when you're rotating around, that it's not rotating around a specific area that you desire. Well, this is where this one comes into hand, and this is called the custom view. And you can simply just click on a specific area that you're working on, and it kind of acts like a pivot point in which the camera can rotate around. Now to rotate around within the perspective view, hold down the Alt key and the left mouse button and you can simply drag from left to right, up and down. To pan is the Alt key and the right mouse button. The Alt key with the middle mouse button held down gives you a zoom. In addition to that, you can zoom with the mouse wheel as well. All of these navigational rotation tools are available right down here where you can actually do the same thing. So we can rotate, we can pan, and we can zoom.